Hi everyone, it's Carolyn Moore from the Modern Widows Club. And it is November 2019 and we have a new topic. Um, this month's topic is choosing to be grateful. And it's more about gratitude awareness and action than anything else. And this year it's been interesting because I've been thinking a lot about gratitude and how it impacts us um, as widows. Uh, because to be quite honest with you in the beginning of widowhood uh, there was very little that I could see that I was grateful for except for the fact that my daughters were with me um, uh, as the year went on and the second year came it was extremely hard for me to continually figure out what I was supposed to be grateful for um, there were things you know I didn't write them down I wished I would have I think there's this beauty uh, in, in two actions in gratitude. Uh, we know that this month Thanksgiving is going to happen in, in the U.S. And, um, but I think there's two areas of gratitude that are really important for us to focus on when gratitude can be difficult, right? Um, I think it's Thanksgiving and thanks receiving. Um, I talk to a lot of widows uh, constantly uh, every week, every day, and for years. And receiving has been a very hard part for myself uh, and that I see that a lot of us struggle with. But here's the thing. We love to give and give and give, but when we receive thanks, when we receive, that is a part of the healing cycle that is a little bit more difficult. <laughs> And so gratitude has two sides to it. And, and this is what I want you to really uh, consider and think about this month is that there are two things. Sometimes you're going to be receiving and sometimes you're going to be giving. Um, and I think that receiving can sometimes be from yourself, writing down a list of the things that you do still have and that you are grateful for. And to say those things out loud, I am grateful for xyz fill in the blank i hope that this month that there's going to be an exercise that you do just sometime you know whether it's before bed or some morning that you wake up on a weekend and you sit down and you write down all the things that you are grateful for that you are going to receive this gift of realizing okay um, i'm actually in right now doing this video in newport beach california I am here partly because um, of some things that have happened in my life um, that I am extremely grateful for that I'd like to share with all of you that you because it's of great joy. Uh, I, I came out here for a party uh, for um, a friend, but I also came out here to meet Rick Warren from Saddleback Church. Uh, and, and a lot of you guys maybe follow him, his Daily Hope podcast. I've learned a lot about loneliness from him. I've learned a lot about life changes, and, and so it was wonderful to meet him. But hearing him speak uh, this weekend, he was talking about how we all learn things. Um, and I think I have learned a lot about gratitude from this community and all of the women in it. He said we learn things by three ways. Explanation, anyone can learn from uh, learning it from an explanation, whether that's just learning that from a friend or learning that in a course, we can learn that way. The second way is learn by experience. Um, all of us are learning from each other in this community because we've all had uh, s similar experiences, not the same, but similar in widowhood. And that's what makes it so powerful when we get together and we share what we have learned. And, and I love each month sharing the things that I've learned because I know how valuable they are and how much I wish I had this uh, when I was newly widowed. And the third way we learn is by example. And I can tell you that I have learned so much about Thanksgiving and receiving from the women in this community because I used to be a terrible receiver. <laughs> I really did. I was like, there's all these people who are so joyful and, and why are they like that? And um, you know, it would be kind of annoying to me. <laughs> 
And then I realized people who um, are great receivers uh, receive great joy. And the gratitude becomes like more of a full circle experience for them. So I really have been contemplating on all this, um, learning things from explanation. We know that this makes sense to do. We know from our experience that we do have things that maybe we're not grateful for, maybe we should be more grateful for, you know, just talking, really diving deep into what that really means to us, and then being the example of that. Being a good receiver has created a lot of healing for me and my family and for women around us. This last week, I received an enormous amount of joy, and I want to I want to share that with all of you, but um, after 19 years, I have found uh, my life partner, and I got engaged. <laughs> and um, so, um, after all this time of learning how to be joyfully uh, widowed single, uh, I am going to now re-enter into a, a, another stage of my life and, and remarry. And the interesting part about this is I have so many women in this organization whose lives that I have been there for them in their remarriage. All six of our original Modern Widows Club leaders um, are all married now. And so I'm now going to get to receive um, from them uh, those that I uh, was, while I was moving forward and reaching back and pouring into their lives, now I'm going to have them with me. So I'm especially grateful uh, this, this November, excuse me, and going to be receiving a lot of love uh, from whence that I have given. <laughs> so I can tell you that sometimes you'll be giving and not realize how it's going to be um, received back. But what I can tell you is the rewards of that is going to be um, worthy. And so I hope that this November you will embrace that. So um, I need to say thank you to, to everyone in this organization, all of our leaders, our staff, our board, um, everyone who came to the leadership conference, everyone who will be coming in 2020 to, to all of our events and all of our chapters and all the chapters. We're gonna be launching 10 new chapters in 2020. Um, I'm just in awe uh, that I get to go around and share all of you to people like Rick Warren, to people like um, um, new leaders, uh, people who really care about widows in the world. We're really starting to find those people. And I want you to know that they are deeply grateful um, that you uh, have found Modern Widows Club and that you are being loved and respected and seen and heard. Um, it's a beautiful thing to be in this organization, and I am now receiving uh, back all the love that um, I've poured into the organization, and I know that's going to happen for you as well. So um, I just want you to know how loved you are um, and tap into this community that you have, whether that's online or in person. Um, pick up the phone, call another widow this month, uh, it might be a difficult time for her, especially if it's her first year, or first couple of years, or even doesn't even matter. <laughs> it's just nice to hear that someone cares about you. And I do deeply care about you, and I am, I love, love um, what we're about to do in 2020. So for all of you guys in this community, please share us, because in 2020, I'm creating all new topics. And so I'm uh, working on that little project right now. And I know that 2020 is going to be very different. I'm gonna do some more Facebook Lives in 2020. And it's, it's gonna be even um, something more to be thankful for. Make sure you check out our Healthy Widow, Healthy Woman podcast that we have now. And I just wanna welcome you, welcome you to this community, to this movement. Um, of deep, deep, was born out of deep, deep gratitude. So you guys have an amazing month. I love you. Uh, you're loved by so many, and that's the bigger message that I actually want to share with you. So let's go, and because together uh, we are better.
okay? Much love. Bye-bye.